today, uh, what we're planning on doing during the episode, uh, <laughs> during class, is talking about some of your topics. What I think is happening with a lot of people who are selecting your topics and, and struggling with your projects more generally is that this is kind of how they're stated, at least in the spreadsheet that we have shared at the moment. So uh, when I ask you what your project is on, you're saying the project is on gay marriage or on mental illness or uh, on study habits, right? What we want to help you do today in today's, in today's class is to help clean these up, to ask uh, questions that are going to help clarify what the project is about and how to do it really, really well. Uh, so what's a good project topic? Uh, facilitated communication, right? That would be an outstanding one. As I said, I've watched the documentary 36 times. We're using it for a reason. But the question, if I were to ask you what your topic was on, it's not, is this facilitated communication effective? Instead, it's why do people believe that facilitated communication works? The first one has to do with the technique, facilitated communication. The second one has to do with psychology. Take vaccinations, same issue. Uh, when it comes to vaccinations, it's not, are vaccinations effective or do vaccines cause autism, right? It's, why don't people vaccinate their children? The Sophie Columbia case, is anyone not familiar with Sophie's murder recently? This was right in our backyard and she took the city glider. She was gonna get a ride from, from a friend, but she declined, said, I'm gonna take the bus. And something happened between getting off at the cultural center, walking along the riverside and getting to the, uh, to the go-between bridge. Uh, there weren't that many people around and she was murdered. But after it unfolded, they caught the guy. Uh, I was walking to uni one day, chatting with one of my colleagues who's also in psychology and uh, she's a runner. Uh, but I said, hey, what are you doing? You normally run at night uh, after, after work. And she says, well, yeah, not because of this, not because of the Sophie Columbia case. I was like, well, hang on. Do you really think that this is like endemic? That this, <laughs> that this is something that um, is going to continue? They caught the guy. Uh, is, are murders after dark increasing that would justify your decision to stop running? What we want you to do is come up with a question that would properly investigate this particular issue. Uh, this is really easy to find this kind of information. You just essentially type in um, the postal code of the suburb that you want to find information about, and it gives you all sorts of crime data. But think about how you might scale it up, okay? Like if you literally wanted to show people this thing that everyone here was astounded by, that you, this information was available, searching the information within your own building to see the crime statistics. If you wanted to tell people about that, you felt passionately about it, what could you do? Possibly I'm thinking wrong, you know, my thinking is wrong about this and maybe I should be more careful. But if it's just a once-off event that happens, you know, once a year or, you know, rarely, then it's like, well, why? am I going to freak out about something that's just happened that once? Women as support are supposed to be comforting and they're supposed to be helping and they're yeah. supposed to be aiding and that's like what we think women should be. And so when yeah. someone violates that, when they want to be promoted, when they want to be assertive, when they want to get ahead, we go, well, yeah. Yeah. that's like it violates your fundamental assumptions yeah. and you just go, no. Are people's concerns warranted? Has the world actually changed or is this, uh, you know, an availability effect? If people start changing their habits and then everyone's running in the morning, let's say, well, then that just creates a different target. It's not actually going to solve it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You're more likely to um, be hit by a car crossing the road to avoid someone you think is going to attack you than you are dying of their hand, of them attacking you. 